Back with another video for you, head top. Uh, yeah, man. So what's the fuss on these? What is the fuss on these Air Jordan 4? Air Jordan 4 Thunder. Air Jordan 4 Thunder. Um, I'm hearing mixed reviews saying that it's sold out. I know online it's sold out on the apps, the sneakers app and all that. Sold out. If you was able to hit these for retail, um, it's always great to hit, hit a... Um, a top side out sneaker fit retail, but they made so many pairs of these, man. So many pairs of these. I don't know the exact number, but I probably, I'm pretty sure, probably 200 plus, 200 plus, um, probably a million pairs. I'm sure, close to me being a million pairs of these guys, man. It's probably a little bit exaggerating, but it was that many pairs of these, and uh, you probably gonna have about two or three or four uh, restocks on these Jordan Four Thunders. Now, with that being said. Um, everybody's talking about why is the resale price so low. First of all, I don't get into resale like that, so um, that's a good thing that it's low. If you didn't hit for retail, you can definitely go get it for a little bit of nothing. Um, on Gold, Stock X, uh, whatever your um, resale market apps are, um, go get you that shoe, man. If you really wanted that shoe, it is it is an OG. I don't think it's been released since 2012 or 2011 somewhere in there um so everybody's been asking for these they have they are bringing back a whole lot of uh ogs or a whole lot of silhouettes that they released back in the 2011 12 stages this year um including the jordan uh cherry 12s that's gonna be a big release can't wait for those but uh with that being said let's take a look at the air jordan 4 thunders bro um with my pair um I was able to get it from the plug. Shout out to the plug, bro. I was able to get it from the plug um, under retail. Yes, sir. Under retail. Uh, was able to get it probably about $40, $50 cheaper. Um, no taxes or stuff like that. But you know, I messed with my plug a long way, man. We're going back a long, go back a long ways. You feel me? So uh, I wasn't going to cop these, man, but he said he had them just laying around. He's like, Mike, I know you don't cop shoes as. as uh, you know, as often, you know, as frequently as I used to. I used to cop every weekend, every other weekend type deal, and uh, like that. But here, uh... woo! Here go the Jordan Four uh, Thunders, man. Yes, the Thunder Jordan Four, man. These Thunders are actually pretty dope, bro. Actually, pretty dope, bro. And I'm skipping ahead. I'm skipping ahead. I know, I know, I know. I think y'all gonna see everything. That's why I'm skipping, man. You go to box right here. You got the flight, the jump man in yellow, flight in white. Uh, got the, the black box with the elephant print all over the box. Okay. You got the elephant print paper, tag reads, Air Jordan 4 retro, black, white, tour yellow. And that yellow is busted. Um, I actually thought about copping the lightning pair, all yellow pair, and didn't um, because I have the off-white Air Force uh, One Lows. Let's pull out the other shoe just to take a look at it real, real quick. Real quick. I know y'all probably seen these a hundred thousand times, but you haven't seen your boy review here, so I had to pull out and make sure everything good. Just keep me out of the date on sneaker drops. I am copying just because I'm not posting as much. I am. Uh, still copping the pairs I want, and uh, I wasn't gonna copy these, man. But they're, yeah, I'm glad I did, man. I'm, I'm glad I did, man. Fours, why fours again? And then why fours so high on the radar, man? Why are the fours right now um, as valuable as Jordan ones? Even though um, this pair is probably like what fifty, sixty dollars over retail right now on resale. So um, this one's not as high, but I think the Lightning Four has done the same thing. And then they jump tremendously in price if y'all are resellers or buying so many in stock in bulk and trying to sell them on the market. I think you'll be fine in about six months to a year time um, if you're holding them. But this is a dope sneaker, bro. They're looking really, really nice in hand. Um, glad I copped them. They do look nice. Um, with that being said, the colorway 
It's fire. You got the new buck on the upper. Um, got that tour yellow surrounding the shoe, around the baseline of the of the shoe, <laughs> which is fire, bro. And you got the white jump man on there. Now, actually, the white jump man on this sneaker to me actually works. Um, it breaks up. It breaks up that black and yellow, um, and it actually gives you. Um, the white jump man actually makes it uh, where it's more wearable. If that makes sense to you, I mean, uh, if you're in the fashion like that, I mean, if you're not just in the sneakers, if you're in the sneakers, usually that runs hand in hand with fashion. But believe it or not, a lot of people collect sneakers, man, and don't even care about fashion or their outfit or whatever. But with that white jump man, the people that's in the fashion, you know what I'm saying. That white jump man allows you to play off the shoes a little bit more, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, and. Um, just dope, bro. Just dope. So when I do it on the feet, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like you can uh, pick a shirt that has yellow and black in it. You don't have to have an all yellow shirt or an all black shirt. You can pick a yellow black shirt that has a little bit of white graphics in it. You know what I mean? You play off with it like that, man. It, it make your outfit come to life a little bit more. But um, don't do too much, but just enough. You know what I mean? But uh, with that being said, man, that's been um, just a look at the Jordan 4 Thunders, man. Just to show y'all that I did pick them up. Uh, dope sneaker. Really nothing to say about that. Got the white jump man on the bottom. You got the yellow and the black on the uh, outsole. Um, really fire, bro. Really, 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 really dope, bro. Really, really dope. Um, as far as the the toe box, I don't believe it's the same toe box. Let me grab the um. Let me grab the SB fours real quick. Cause I know everybody's gonna question that, and uh, yeah, they went right back. No, they went OG with it. That's the the hard back tab. So sorry about that, y'all. If you haven't got them yet, uh, the toe box. No, I mean you you can see you can see uh, on the SBs how that toe box is just a whole lot slicker than this one. Um, so they went with the normal toe box they've been giving us with all Jordan fours they released. So. Hey, dope sneaker though, uh, nonetheless, dope sneakers, both of them. This, in my opinion, will be sneaker of the year. I don't see anything taking them out. This is just a dope colorway, bro. And uh, the sneaker just feels great on feet. Uh, the comfort is unbelievable for a four. Because you know, like I know, if you collect Jordan for years, Jordan fours are one of the most uncomfortable shoes ever. I mean, all Jordans really, you, you don't need to wear more than three to four hours. Uh, but Jordan fours, which always have me with a two to three hour radius at max um yeah Whew, that pinky toe action but it means man you, you you're allowed to go uh, i'll say about you know hour or two longer because they'll break in like you used to wear this every day these will break in you wouldn't have a problem these but, but as far as quality and and giving the fashion statement must have must come um with that being said, man, that's been a video. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Big Mike. Sneaker Editions, a.k.a. Sneaker and Automobiles. S&A, stand up. And we out.